want to learn how to improve the surface finish of your components, you need to watch this video. I'm joined by Tebis, and how do you guys do this? So Tebis has a strong emphasis on surface quality. We achieve this by machining against true surfaces as opposed to triangulated meshes. Most cam systems employ uh, create triangulated meshes underneath the surface and machine against those. This can allow for a certain amount of inaccuracy in your, in your machining finish. With Tebis, because we use the true surface, we're machining on the actual CAD data, which gives us the most consistent surface finish possible. And I know you've got a lot of uh, third part, well, th uh, customers in the mold and die sector. Presumably, that's where all this started. Yeah, with 35 years of heritage in mold die and pattern making, starting with big OEMs, um, Tebis has progressed in the mold and die sector, and our high surface quality finishes mm -hmm. have been key to that. So we're talking about point distribution. So in Tebis, um, we have a number of options for point distribution. All of these are user programmable in the programming stage of the operation. We can manipulate the points to highlight certain areas to improve surface finish and to increase sharp edges um, and true form radiuses. Mm -hmm. Is that the true surface? Is that what is that the same thing? So a combination of the true surface and the point distribution um, gives us the ultimate surface finish. When you're working with triangulated meshes, you can't achieve sharp corners and you can't achieve true radii. So the true surface allows us to do that and then the point distribution we can use to highlight these features. And the precision tool geometry? So alongside our true surface technology, Tebis uses full form tool descriptions. So no matter what the tool is, even through barrel tools and circle segment cutters, we have a completely accurate tool description. So the form of the tool is 100% accurate. It means that we can create the most accurate tool paths possible. And I know you've got some very easy to use curve repair functions as well. Yes, so for surface and curve repair, um, quite often there's gaps or kinks or, or missing elements within a curve or a surface. Um, we have a simple three or four step process and we can select the repair function, select the elements we need to repair. They highlight the function, the uh, errors within that, sur that surface or curve and just hit repair and that's it done. So giving us the most consistent and accurate either surface or curve to machine mm -hmm. around. So if I can ask you to conclude, obviously we've talked about a lot today, lots of different things within Tebis, but just conclude, how do you get the surface finish? So surface finish in Tebis, uh, true surface machining is key. The last thing you would want is um, a representation of a triangulated mesh showing up in a surface finish. Also by utilising true radii on the true surface as opposed to um, triangulated meshes, we can have very accurate toolpath in for a pencil line milling um, so we don't have jump offs, we have nice consistent toolpath. There we are, it's been an education, thank you. Thank you. And thanks for watching.